Hello everyone, in this tutorial we are going to go through uh, sorting class. You must create a class student that handles any number of students. Interesting information to store is at least name and age. The class must be sortable and this you achieve this by implementing the iComparable T interface where T stands for class name. You must add the compare to method to the student class. Student classes shall have private fields for the information stored and there shall be public fields characteristics. Uh, furthermore, the class must have a constructor to initiate an object. To test class, select the collection class list T. You should make a program that print a list on person in the order in which they are added then the program should print a list there the people are stored by name if two people have the same name they must be stored by age expand the student class in task a part a so that it is possible to sort by the age of the students as well as in their name a tip is to implement the I comparable T interface read in the online help for how the I comparable T interface can be used to sort a class. For this, we are going to create a new project uh, console application, and it must all those uh, name space or uh, classes must be added, and uh, the class. Uh, program has a main uh, uh, method and we have a string s0 equals y while s0 is y we are going to ask please make a choice origin name age grade and for quid and take you then we are going to read this one in student.s at um, uh, console uh, read line and student is a class that we are going through there uh, we are going to have a sorted list student and string and call it a student new sorted list student string student dot add new student mark 51 grade B the second best student add Lisa age 30 grade 8 the best student add John 35D the second middle student Helen 25C middle student Louise 28F divorce student Tom 45E almost divorce student Tom 45A, the best student, Luis 22B, the second best student. And we are going to have a console right line, a student dot S5, and for each key value pair student, because it is list, a student string KVP in a student, we are going to write Um, keep it, uh, kvp dot key dot by name by age by grade by value and a student dot s at and we are going to use dashes under each uh, part we write the result and in class student which uh, heritage from program and I comparable interface student. We are going to have a variables, one integer age, the rest of them are string name, S1 grade, S1 S2, S5, and we are going to have a constructor, student, empty constructor, and another constructor with three parameters name, age, grade 
and this dot name underscore name is name age that age is age and that grade is grade properties we are going to use a public string by grade and get return underscore grade by name by age and we are going to define a method compare to uh, parameter is a, a class other of type a student and if other is null if other is not a student then we are going to uh, give a error message other is not a student else if s1 equals origin s5 equals before sorting and if s1 name it's s5 is sorting by name and if this name equals other name then you are going to check with their age and we are going to return this grade dot compare to other grade and the compare to is here we call it again it is record shift and else if uh, age is not same we are going to uh, call this dot age dot compare to other age because the name is the same else if name is not the same we are going to use this dot underscore name dot compare to other dot underscore name else if S1 is age, sort by age. S5 equals sorting by age. If age, two ages are the same, we are going to check if their name are the same, then we are going to call by grade to compare. Otherwise, if name is not, we are calling by the name. Otherwise, if the age is not the same we are going to call to age uh, compared to uh, due to age if s1 is grade s5 is sorting by grade if the grades is the same we are going to uh, check if the name is the same if it is so we are going to use the age call the age otherwise by name otherwise by grade and if s1 is q terminate the program else console right now wrong choice please choice origin name age or grade and for quit enter q and we are reading in s1 and then we are coming up here and then end the compare and then end the end the class and then end the name space okay I hope that uh, you have paused the program when I went through uh, line by line and you have uh, you can pause and uh, copy the source codes control f5 we are going to use origin and wrong choice please choose origin the origin one it is wrong origin the origin is uh, what we have re uh, written here it is this one and the origin is here and I am going to use by name sorting by name is Helen, John, Lisa, Luis, Luis, Mark, Tom, Tom you can see that you, we have two Luis and it's going to check their age and age is uh, 22 is younger than 28 
and Mark, we have two Tom with the same age and it's going to be uh, by grade. A is higher grade than E. Now the age, sorting by age, Louis 22, 25, 28, 30, 35, Tom 45, Tom 45, it's the same name and the same age and but the grade is different and then mark fi uh, 51. Now we are going to use the grade, sorting by grade, it's Louis A, Tom A, both of them has the same great but Lisa is uh, younger than Tom and then B B but Luis is younger than Mark C D E F and you will see uh, is the best student is the best student is the second best student is the second best student is the middle student second middle student almost the worst student divorce a student and for quit be press Q and it is finished okay it was all in this tutorial see you on next tutorial